to anything I say until it's all off your chest. Oh. I've, got, I've, got, I've got plenty of dick. I've got plenty of dick. I'm really horny again and I'm in the car driving to work and I pulled up at the service station. Like... And then you're doing the cowboy name. Woo! I'm sat in the corner like that. Sink. Cool. That is it. <laughs> the first ever podcast for da, Swing Hub. Da, da, da. Are you excited? I'm not excited, but I'm also not like shitting myself at the same time. I don't know. Mm. Depends how people how, how are people really gonna take it. Yeah. Of us just talking like gobbledygook. <laughs> well, everyone, everyone loves you anyway. Yeah. But then they might look at me and they're like, "Oh my god, he's a bit, he's a bit funny looking. He's a bit." No, there's quite a lot of people that like you as well. You know I am it. a catch. I am a catch. You just like setting that up, wasn't you? Oh yeah. my god, I fell for it. <laughs> yeah, I'm a catch. So we are basically going off today's theme. Theme. I don't want to say theme of a beginner's guide to swinging mm -hmm. and we are going to talk about our own experience and just for like anyone new in the lifestyle just like the things to look out for because when we first started fucking hell how much of a roller coaster was that well we didn't know anything did we so we kind of were just picking stuff up here and there and there was nothing really online like there is now so no no, but I remember that it would just, so if we take it all the way back to when we first got started, because this is a big question that a lot of you do ask, like, how did you get started? And we never go into like full on depth. Obviously, when we get asked on TikTok lives about how we got started. We have or, to be so careful. Yeah, we've got well. to be so careful. And it's always like a really quick, like five second, this is what we did. This is what we did. Yeah, especially on TikTok as well. Mm. It's, you can't really go mega in depth with what you're saying yeah. but we can talk about it now because we've so got a doing podcast a mega in-depth like so full-on conversation welcome to the swing hub podcast which is coming in <laughs> spring 2023 <laughs> where's your hoodie i didn't want to match you what i wanted to wear this queen our producer bailey said i looked amazing with this on today odds on one to ten you get a swing up title um no <laughs> i'm not playing this let's, game. Do, let's just do it for the jokes so if you don't know what odds on is, it's a game where it's the odds are 1 to 10 or 1 to 20, 1 to 30, depending on how daring the the dare is really. So I thought it was a 1 to 10. If we both say the same number, you have to do it. You have to do it. Yeah. Ready? Ready. Three, two, one, seven. <gasps> oh! Oh! My turn. Ready? Right. If I, if odds are one to 10. Mm -hmm. If we get the same number, mm -hmm. I'll get swing up tattooed along my dick. Along your dick? Yeah. Ooh. I've got, I've, got, I've, got, I've got plenty of dick. I've got plenty of dick. <laughs> tell him, Lily, it's not about the size. Tell him. Tell him what you tell Just me. It's about how you <laughs> use it. <laughs> tell him what you. You're perfect Your for me. Your perfect for me. It's fine. <laughs> okay. Right, for me. You ready? You. Three, two, one, four. Three. <laughs> I nearly got a tattoo on my dick. So close. That is a stupid game, though. It's not a stupid you game. You like that game, though, I don't you? love that game. Yeah. Anyways. How we got started in the lifestyle? How we got started in the lifestyle. What year did we get started in the lifestyle? I don't know. 2018? Mm. 18? 19? I don't know what year. What year, what year is it already? <laughs> So it was about five years ago, I think. Yeah. Mm. But what we consider ourselves as dirty vanillas, we would do the dirties, wouldn't we? we yeah, we'd together. always been really dirty anyway. We'd always been like very adventurous in the bedroom, I think. It was never like The just... bedroom, in cars, <laughs> on trains, on planes. If it moves, <laughs> we're doing it. <laughs> Yeah, so I think we've always had that open line of communication and we were never really, like, embarrassed to talk about sex anyway to begin with. So nope. I think 
You like the word dirty vanilla, don't you? I heard, I, do you know what? I heard somebody say it one time <laughs> on Instagram and I was like, that resonates. Yeah. That resonates. Yeah. All the dirty vanillas out there could be capable of being in the lifestyle because you, you're that way focused anyway. Mm. But if you've got that strong relationship as well, like it's just a natural chemistry where you can just be like in the lifestyle. It yeah. just works. I don't understand how like <clears throat> couples like can't talk about it either. Like I don't know. There's so many people out there that don't talk about like sex. So then I suppose. You can't blame some people though. I think it's how there was raised for one mm. if you weren't raised in a sex positive household where like sex was just sex and it was like all yeah. fun but if you were like you know very conservative and whatever happened in the bedroom stayed in the bedroom like you don't talk about it you don't give any hints you just mm. naturally grown to go with the grain so yeah. yeah i like it but we obviously had an epic like sex session didn't we yeah, I was going for about three and a half hours. I was just like on it. So three and a half hours. <laughs> I've never been good at time, but <clears throat> but Over we. Um, I think it just after having us having sex and we're having that pillow talk afterwards, and we kind of got into conversation, and then it was talk about like past sex experiences and stuff, and then you brought up the oh, I think I like women, and that's actually the question of have you ever been with a woman? And you turned around and went yeah i have and that threw me off that threw me off and i was like oh my god have you and it was like you know when you get like post-nut clarity you know you just like baseline you're like ah well you said that you was like i have actually and then that spiked something in me and i was like had a raging boner again and i was ready to go and then you told me the story yeah yeah so then we were kind of like having a little chat about that weren't we and then afterwards again um of like how you'd like to explore that and I, like I'd like to explore that more and and then we kind of just left it didn't we for like a few days and then you came back yeah well I think, I, th I think talking about it just got the adrenaline up anyway yeah. didn't it and mm -hmm. we were like I like rabbits because it was just that because you don't really talk about like deep like if you can be truthfully honest with your partner about them like deep dark nasty like you know fantasies Mm -hmm. then <laughs> see that face like mm. <laughs> Fantasy, mm. because that's enough to get the adrenaline going and we were just riding that way for absolutely ages yeah. and then i remember so i used to be in the army and i was telling a friend about it because you just tell everybody everything and he told me about this site which we will not mention <laughs> on this podcast <laughs> So we joined that site. And yeah, you much... came home and was like, oh, I've oh, got... let's, yeah, yeah, someone told me about this site. And we joined up and first of all, the website was absolutely shockingly shit. But we was absolutely amazed of how many people mm. were doing it. Yeah, and especially where we are, because we live in such a small um, village. It's even like there were so many people online at that time. And you were like, there's so many people around us like doing this. And it's just not what we ever thought no. i was always like oh my god no we're not a swinger there's not many people out there like this but then when we turned on that website we were like what the actual like there is so many people around us but there's a lot, i bet you what there's so many people out there now today still thinking what we thought five years ago mm -hmm. where swingers are full of like old people and it's you know it's like for the old generation and kind of that yeah. but when you see like people like in like doing 20s mid 20s 30s doing it and some of these people have got class as well aren't they like mm. it's not talking about like cd cd people or anything like some of these people are like like decent people you kind of go hmm mm. what would we be missing out on yeah so when we went on that website <clears throat> that we won't, be, <laughs> won't name and um, we like started like searching for a, a girl a woman to join us wasn't we and we were like oh and then we were like why is this so hard <laughs> and then this other couple popped up and we were like, oh, they seem all right. They're like our age. They're only up the road. And I was like really shocked at like... Well, that really. So <laughs> let's go into a bit more depth of why, what happened there. Yeah. So this couple actually messaged us on this website, which we will not name. And they was like, hey guys, so you know, like we think you're really attractive, but we think my partner this was a woman talking my partner knows the male side of you lot and my heart dropped into my arsehole i was like <laughs> oh my 
God, I was like, everyone's going to know that I'm into this sort of stuff and I've not even done anything yet. I've just signed up to a, web- <laughs> I've just signed up to a website. And the, first people, the first people we talk to is someone that we know. Yeah, so, so where I used to be based, a guy used to work up there, right? And we used to talk all the time. And then they sent their first pictures of and I was like... I won't say obviously the names, but I was like, oh my God. I was like, I actually know him. And he's like an absolute like decent guy. And his missus were like absolutely like fire as well. And I was like, oh. So I dropped my message on WhatsApp. I was like, bro, like, what the fuck? Like, you know, like, I've only been doing this. He's like, oh, we've been doing it for about a year now. And we've like met these people. Like, it's absolutely fantastic. He's like, you should come up for drinks. So we was like, all right, cool. We'll, we'll do that then. So we were talking on a WhatsApp group for... I'd say it were about six weeks. I'm not going to lie. By the time we were like talking and trying to arrange a time that we all can like meet and um, go up to their house, it was about six weeks. It was a long Just time, wasn't it? backwards and forwards in making sure everybody were okay. Yeah. Especially because it was our first time <clears throat> in doing anything. I think they were really, really kind and just kept it at our own pace as well so which was really good you see i never had any doubts with playing with them too because i already knew him and mm. i knew that he was a good guy and with the whatsapp group six weeks is a long time as well and i think what a lot of people have to understand is in them six weeks or however long you're talking for you don't need to talk every day either dear like we mm. talk for like a day and then we won't talk to each other for like four days and then we talk again for a full day and then we'd leave it for a week and then yeah. kind of catch up because talking every day it kind of yeah, it wasn't like it's like us being together twenty four seven. Then try to text afterwards. You kind of yeah don't have much to talk about, and it were the it same was just thing. The odd text now and again, catching up and making sure everybody is okay. Then it was always like, when can we do what? What day can you do? It's like, oh well, we'll have to wait and see what I'm doing with work or what yeah. they're doing with work or when they were going to be around. And yeah, so. but the impression that we got with these guys is that there was like, oh, just come up for drinks, just like come up and have a drink with us. And that was pretty much, pretty much it, really. So I read online about having a backup couple because actually getting turned like like people flaking out is very very common. So I was like, I'm gonna get a backup couple, right? So we must speak to this other couple in Lincoln, mm. and I explained the situation. We went for these guys for drinks and stuff. You know, like I don't know if we're gonna play. I, maybe we are. I'm not too sure. It's nothing confirmed because it's literally our first time. So this other guy. So everyone said, look, if you don't end up playing, come to ours and we'll play with you. So I was like, all right, backup couple, sorted. <laughs> Do you want to talk about how you were feeling on the way up? <laughs> <laughs> so we were driving up, so it's about like 25 minutes up. And I was like really quiet, sat in the car. You were like, are you okay? And I'm like, yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> she wasn't fine because she was stood there like that. <laughs> all, half an hour drive up to Lincoln. All the way. I was like, you're all right. I'm fine. I'm fine. Yeah. So I was, yeah, <clears throat> starting to like, the nerves started building and I was like, like by the time we got to their house and pulled up on the drive, I'm basically nearly like shitting myself right now. And I was like, no, nah, I don't think I can do it. And he was like, but we've just pulled into their drive. They have seen the car, Olivia. Like we have got to go in. It's the wind is through the window. <laughs> it's just a drink, and I was like, "No, I can't get out of this car." <laughs> you want to go to the drive? You see them, they're waving. Oh yeah! And you just start reversing out, like, "Fuck this!" Ah! <laughs> I think they would have totally understand um, the situation, but I am glad that I got out of that car. Um, but it took a lot for me to get out of that yeah. car. Um, so we, yeah. so we got there and we pretty much they welcomed us and they were really lovely and we had drinks it was just like general chit chat we got um, on really well as well didn't we oh, I yeah, think yeah. like it's completely like different to like texting and like facetiming to like actually seeing that person in in real life and having a, a good laugh and stuff but there were no awkward silences we all had like some stuff in common and it was just really nice like yeah. Just like having a few drinks with friends. But that's also like the same with like new couples as well. I think finding couples like that, you it's not the case of for us, and I think what it should be for new couples as well, 
it's not about like, oh yeah, you're attractive, we like you, do you like us? There has to be a vibe there at the same time. The, you have to have more than just attractiveness. Yeah. Like, let's face it, we've been out and about and we've met some solid 10 out of 10 worldies, but they've got personalities like cardboard. Yeah. And and we kind of go, we can't vibe with that. No. Like, you can, you don't get the same you chemistry. Have, like, r- like fun. It's supposed to be fun and it's supposed to be like yeah. a really good laugh. and Yeah. Yeah. But there's much more to it than just having sex with someone else. It's the it's a build up to it. It's the initial chat. It's a meeting up for the social. It's having the drinks. It's the the full conversation, yeah. and then that gets the the chemicals going in your body to kind mm. of go right. I'm ready to do this. Yeah. Not just in wham bam thank you ma'am and then straight <laughs> out of there. No. But yeah. So we um we're having this drink, and then he and I'll say like you've had. I won't say too much, but you was riding the wave a little bit. Yeah, I'd had a few glasses of Prosecco. And I remember him saying, do you girls just want to go upstairs and just kind of just get comfy? And again, my heart sank into my arsehole, right? <laughs> and I'm like, fuck yeah, I want him to go upstairs. And... <laughs> <laughs> so this guy's been in it for a year. He knows the score. He knows the deal or everything, right? So you guys go upstairs and like, he's talking at me, but I'm not paying attention whatsoever because I'm trying to listen upstairs. So I'm kind of like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's like, when is it our turn to head upstairs? And Come I was, on, like, I'm jump getting up. Tougher. I'm getting tougher. <laughs> so then you're kind of like giggling, giggling. And then it just goes quiet. And I'm like, oh my God, it's happening. And he sat there with his drink and he's like, he's like, what's been going on, my mate? What's been going on? And I'm like, should we um do we head upstairs now he's like nah it's all right just relax just relax like they're getting comfort honestly we'll make our way upstairs somehow i'm sat on his sofa with my half naked right and he's fully dressed with my t-shirt off i'm ready to go and he's like he's like gage honestly he's like just relax like we're gonna go upstairs and i'm like i know bro but what if like you know like just i just want to get started and stuff like that and i'm like so yeah half panicking half excited right and he's like, all right, we'll go upstairs. So I walk into the bedroom with like my jeans and my top off. You know, my shirt. He's fully dressed and lives like, well, I walk in and you're laying in the bed and she's pretty much like, she's gone down on you and you look like you're just absolutely loving it. <laughs> and Olivia looks at me and all she says is, where's your shirt? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I lost it on the stairs. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what happened. I don't, I, I don't know. Um, Got far so excited. But that was like your first, like then, like proper, proper bisexual experience, wasn't it? As in, from the first time you did it, like to being with another woman, like full on, like. Oh yeah, yeah. For a while, obviously, bef- like obviously, while we've been together. Yeah. That's the first time. Well, has it been more before we got together, or was that one time? What? Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> so the first time you had that bisexual experience yeah in the younger days the, the story told me we're yeah. all going to it now uh-huh. after that before we met oh no no i was confused in that question then i was like mm. i was about to fap around this fucking podcast <laughs> <laughs> no i was like that's the first time i'm like yeah, no that, well obviously i've had no but like, i mean like, experience in, before yeah but th- but that was like a, a proper, proper like, you were there for that moment. Yeah. 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 You loved it, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I was like there. I was like loving everything. I was like so comfortable. And then you all got involved and it was like the best, <laughs> the best time ever. I just kept screaming halfway through, it's amazing. <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> They're like that. I'm having such a good time. Ah. <laughs> I felt that guy was so scared. And like, he just, no, no, I'll turn himself and he looked down at his drink and he looked up and he's like, I thought it was gone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he won me. I think one, because I was like over sweating because I was just like, right, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Because I was so drilling filled with what Olivia were doing. Mm. And he was just like chilled and just kind of like talking about football. And I was like, bro, I don't give a fuck about football right now. Like, I just want to know what's happening yeah yeah but and i think the fact of like it's a bit of everything isn't it it's like what's happening 
is she okay on her own? I don't want to leave her. Obviously, this is the first time we've ever done anything. So there's a mix of everything, isn't there? Why yeah. are we down here? I want to be up there. Like, But it, it was so, like, mentally, I was so into it. I was like, yes, I am. We, this is the best. Mm. Subconsciously, right, my mind was not talking to my dick. <laughs> yeah. And it decided to shrivel up at the same time. <laughs> yeah. My dick was like, nah, I'm not, look, my dick was talking to me and it was going, bro, I'm not ready for this yet. I'm not ready. We haven't had enough time. And I was like, bro, come on, we can we can do this. And I'm doing the old strumming the guitar and like the old helicopter. Yeah, you've really I, struggled. I struggled. Yeah. yeah, you were struggling. And I think like it's just a mix of everything because obviously you're there thinking, what's Olivia thinking? Is this okay? This is the first time, obviously, like we've done anything like this. She looks like she's having a good time, but is she really having a good time? Like you're, you're thinking like a million and one things. And obviously that affects like... And then you're doing the cowboy in him. Woo! <laughs> I'm sat in the corner like that. <laughs> no, he wasn't like Fucking that. Hell. <laughs> you were like just happy, like just to like, you just took some time out to watch, didn't you, babe? Well, the, when you got a floppy dick, man, there's not much you can really do. My jaw were aching from eating too much pussy. <laughs> <laughs> it was like a Rocky film. Like, uh, uh. I think it's, it, I think it's like, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> Party animal. I think it's definitely so much harder for you guys, like with <clears throat> all your emotions and stuff like that, than it is for us. Super, super common. Yeah. Super it common. It is super common because it's like a mix of everything. Is it too hot? Is it too cold? <laughs> is it? It, matter. it, it does. matters. Everything matters. Guys have it harder in the lifestyle. Mm. They have to, like, first of all, get it up. Yeah. And they're the ones, because obviously... Let's, let's face it, majority of men have like a more dominant ones where the women are more submissive. So they've got to, one, get it up. They have to be in control of the situation. They've got to, you know, they're the ones doing majority of the time all the traveling, booking the hotel. Like they've got to take all these factors into account before actually getting to like doing the deed. So it's hard for guys in the lifestyle. Now I'm fine. Cause I think because it's just, not, yeah, cause it's come like, I won't say normal, but it's the fact of, I've had that many experiences now. You just kind of, mm. it's normal. You just get on with it. Yeah. Mm. I think because you're not overthinking things as well. Like, yeah. I think that's a huge player. But I think like it was so, like after everything happened, we were kind of like. So, like, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. No, I know what point you're getting to. We've still got so much more of the story to tell. We've got story to tell. What, we're telling the story about the other couple? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So, anyway, if anyone like wondering out there, yeah, I did come. I came. <laughs> it was a long drawn process. I was out of breath, but I made it, right? <laughs> I made it. So it's all good. Anyway, we all finished up. We got dressed. It was like, let's have a couple more drinks. Just relax. Embrace it. So we did. And I told him, I was like, oh, I wrote this thing online about having a backup couple. He was like, what? I was like, a backup couple? I was like, Gage, what the fuck are you on about? It's like, everybody does it, right? They was like, no. No, not really. <laughs> not really. And I was like, oh, well, I read this thing about having a backup couple. And I was speaking to this couple on the site, which we will not mention. And they was like, what were their username again? So I told him, I was like, oh, it's I think it was like Astro 69 or something like that. And it was like, that's really funny that because they told us the same thing that if we don't turn up, go around to theirs to play. So we was like, ah, oh. so we was like, we were we, we getting played a it's little like bit. like a love, little love triangle, wasn't it? Yeah. We was like, oh, that's <laughs> If you funny. don't come here, you go there. And if you don't come there, you'll go there. But he was kind of like playing us both off and like kind of going, yeah, you come here. And then he was like saying to them, oh, you come here. And he wasn't basically saying just to us to go to his house. Yeah. Can you imagine if we both couples turned up? I think we had different times though, didn't they? they oh, said, yeah, they that's it. We had different times. did have different times. Oh, bro, I thought I was clocking in for work and everything. <laughs> <laughs> A little clocking machine. We had a different time to what they had a different time. Yeah, so mm -hmm. I kind of didn't. I, I messaged him. I was like, "Bro, with, with this couple now, and obviously you've been speaking to him. I was like, the way you've done done stuff, it sounds a bit shitty." And he was like, "Oh no, it's fine, it's fine." He's like, "Did you end up playing?" So I sent him a little like selfie down of all. Yeah, we were like, "Shall we all get in? Have a picture and send it to him." Yeah. So. Yes, we did, and we had a good time. I hope you had a good time too. <laughs> yeah, sat there with his cock in his hands. <laughs> but we. Uh, Single, probably, probably single male on a couple account. Yeah, we um, 
so we called it a night and that's the first time we experienced this reconnection thing which is a very very powerful feeling i think it's really hard to explain like after the after effects if you've never obviously had the after effects everybody in the lifestyle like knows exactly what you're on about but if you're talking to someone that isn't in the lifestyle you're like they're like i just don't understand it like how does it work and yeah, you can't what is the feeling and it's like you can't explain it no, at all can no. you i think it's a really hard concept of like reconnection when you are outside of the lifestyle and someone goes wait a minute so you're sleeping with someone else but then that makes you stronger as a couple that takes mm. you to a whole new level of love that you didn't think could happen and it 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 does it's weird and i'm i sometimes go why do we feel like this mm. what makes it work anyway and it, so we started driving home <laughs> and i was like <clears throat> okay i am so horny that was amazing and that was my the best night i've ever had she was like getting my dick out while we're driving she was like no i need it I, Gage, like, I need just it. Just pull over. And we ended up pulling over in a country lane, <laughs> didn't we? I got the bad end of the deal, just FYI. Because <laughs> it was October. It was getting cold. It was getting cold. Yeah. It was summer. It was summer. All right, so it was cold on a night. <laughs> it gets cold on a night in summer. All right. It was summer chill. It was summer chill. So you get out of the car the and you're like, oh my down. God, it's cold. I'm like, oh my God, it's cold. But I really want to do this. So we did the old classic of turn the heaters on in the car. You stayed in the car, wound down the window and you stuck your butt out. <laughs> Can you imagine driving past and you see some guy pumping his car? <laughs> Shivering. Shivering it's like so that. Funny. Yeah. And then we did that and then we got... Mate, this country road was like two minutes away from our house. She couldn't wait two minutes. It, it is literally two minutes. Hey, Lisa, it's up the road. It's up the yeah. road there, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'm looking out for like lights coming <laughs> as well. I like how we're dancing. Yeah, I'd just get in the, the driver's side and drive off and leave you outside oh. if anybody came. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See ya. But we um and then we got home and then we had sex again. Mm hmm. And it was the same thing. And then for weeks that were us wanting it, like me and you just didn't want to like go to work. We just wanted to hug each other, kiss each other, just just I remember actually <clears throat> one, it was summer. Um, because I was driving to work and I was like thinking about it. You were on the phone, I was driving to work, we were talking about it, and I'm like, I'm really horny again and I'm in the car driving to work and I pulled up at the service station. Do you remember? Do you not remember this? And I was like, okay, I'm going to have to like sort myself out. Well, like, and then I got back. No, in the you car. didn't. Yeah, I did. And I, I, t I did tell you. What? What? I told Yeah, because you were on the phone. You pulled up at a service station to drum one out? Yeah. Fucking hell. <laughs> I didn't know that. You did. You freak. <laughs> you absolute I'm freak. I'm like, I am sure my bullet's in my bag. You, I'm like, I am sure it's in my bag. You took a bullet. And it what? It were in my work bag. In the car? In the toilets? In the toilets? Did you? Yeah. Oh, you freak. <laughs> You're the dirty wank. <laughs> oh. I was like, it's really light. Like, there's no way I could have got, got away with it in the car. And then it was like completely dead. Yeah, but can you station. imagine sitting down and all you is... <laughs> yeah, I literally like needed like 20 seconds. Is that <laughs> it? <laughs> but you scream so much when you... When you come. Yeah, yeah. So I bet you were buying some <laughs> toilet paper, weren't you? Toilet paper. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I'm sure I told you that. No? you were on the phone with me. While yeah, you were doing you it? You just got a really, really bad memory, that's While all. While you were doing it? No, no. And then I, like, I literally... This was then... five years ago. Just... Yeah. You freak. <laughs> but yeah. And then I went to work. But that were like weeks, wasn't it? Like, I think that were like a couple of weeks afterwards mm. or maybe like a week afterwards. And I was like, I didn't want to go to work. And then I was like, okay, I'm going to have to go to work. So I was driving to work, I remember. Obviously, my drive's quite a, lot, a long time. Yeah. yeah, talking about it. Me and you were talking about it. And I was like, oh my God, I'm like, need to, like, seriously. I need to come. Yeah, I need to. Have you I... not been last inspiration, Gage? Yeah, I mean, I just, I, yeah, fucking right. I used to do the same <laughs> as well at work. Yeah, I go to the toilets just fucking... <laughs> 
But, the but thing that is, was normal, like, in your job. You were all like, yeah, I've just had a wank in the toilets. You'd, t- you'd tell each other, wouldn't you? <laughs> it didn't happen all the time. Probably once or twice. Like, when we first started, started doing it, it was like, yeah. But we also had this thing of we wanted to, like, record what we were doing. So we said to them, do you mind if we film it and kind of, like, watch it back and stuff? They was like, yeah, that's fine. Just don't post it online. Like, we don't want our faces out there, which yeah. is you've got to respect the... Um, discretion and stuff like that so then you go through the videos again and watching the video content mate ignites and you're like oh my god oh my jeez so then i'm smashing seven wanks out a night (laughs) while you're entertaining yourself entertaining yourself yeah i'm just fucking Mm -hmm. not even at work at home yeah so yeah so then obviously we've never looked back after that no (laughs) and that's it but I think because we've had such a an amazing first experience, that definitely set us up really good for like the lifestyle. Because I know like a lot of people have really bad first experiences because they've not taken like baby steps into it and then kind of been put off of the lifestyle completely. Yeah, a lot of people do jump in, like they'll sign up, go for a meet, and then not they just expect it just to be like sign up, meet, sex and then have everything afterwards, and it's nothing like that whatsoever. The baby steps you have to take to actually get to the point of being in someone else's bedroom, like the time it takes, it's a long time, isn't it? I think you're always having to consider each other as well along the way, and it's not just one person doing it, it's both of you doing it, and you both have got different time frames of being, yeah, I'm ready to do it, and, and like having them conversations, so... Yeah, I think as well, if your partner's like 50-50 on the fence, mm. like you've just got to really just like play extra, extra cool as well. Like as, as much as you might be ready and your partner's not, sometimes it could be just like right place, right time sort mm-hmm. of thing. Yeah. But yeah, that's it. That's well, that was that. our first experience, Holy Fish Buster. Shit, five years ago. <laughs> but you're right in what you're saying. I believe that if we didn't have that first experience, mm. like the way we did, because them guys were great. They were yeah. absolutely fantastic with us. We got there, bro, and like we were like school kids, weren't we? And he stood up and he were like kind of like like on the fireplace. He's like, it's the first time. He's like, how long have you been doing this? I was like, literally, we signed up on like the first week we spoke to you, and now we're here. He's like, do you know what a unicorn is? I was like, what the fuck's he? I don't know. What the fuck's going on? Like, what's a unicorn? It's a whole new secret society of conversations. Like, bro, we have like loads of different words for everything. It's like vanilla. You have to use the word vanilla. And I was like. <laughs> all right he's like that means someone not in the lifestyle you're not vanilla now you're all right and i was like all right appreciate that <laughs> unicorn single woman in the lifestyle do you know why why because like the rare and mythical and the really like hard like to find one i was like all right that makes sense <laughs> we're like the swinging at 101 the low downs what you do need to know like a 20 minute like <laughs> quick question like swinging lesson i was like bro i don't i don't have any I, any clue whatsoever what the fuck you're talking about? You're talking Chinese. Are we going to fuck or not? Like, what's going on? <laughs> I didn't say it like that, but I was just... But it was just like the... It was nice of him to take us through it mm. because I... You know, when you kind of look at all the acronyms, like, looking for a MMF, and you're like... You have to work it out of... Right, what, is this actually mean something, or is it male, mm. male, female? So he kind of, like, run us down through all that, didn't he? And we just run it through there. Mm. Look at us now doing a podcast, launching a fucking swing up app. <laughs> Look at that. Who'd have thought? Who'd have thought? Who'd have thought? Not me. You thought? I don't thought. <laughs> I don't thought. Yeah. yeah. So the swinging. Yeah, that's how we got in the swinging lifestyle. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. But then we also come to really find out that a lot of these websites, which we will not mention, uh, are you abs- gonna say that every time you talk about another website yeah do you know oh, right it annoys me <laughs> it genuinely and do you know what i'm not the only person in the same boat like i so many people are with me on this where you look at these sites they they're really old mm. they look like they've been like they got built in the early 2000s yeah when there weren't really any like swinging websites out there and Pretty much, I know, like, the technology wasn't there to prevent, like, fake accounts or any, like, catfish profiles. 
I understand the technology wasn't there. But we are now in 2023. Please tell me these guys have not made millions of pounds. Tell me they have not made millions of pounds and then tell me they have not taken a serious look at actually keeping their users safe. But I think like... That, Sometimes and, and, they say, well, if it's not broken, we don't need to fix it. But like, this, but, but the, yeah, but the thing it's, is, it's a basic thing that works and they just see it as that. Like, But as a company, they should actually come to realise that that's, yeah, okay, if it's not broken and it works, then keep it as it is. Mm. But word spreads around that people go, I'm tired of fake accounts, I'm tired of this. Mm. This is why Swing Up is going to do amazing this is why Swing Up is literally here to take over. And the people that own these sites, when they start losing users and they come over to Swing Up, one, because they know they've got the safety there, they've got the safety aspect knowing that, right, I've got no fake accounts. It's hard to use catfish um, to track catfish accounts because if you've got a single guy saying he's a single guy, Cole is a single guy, but he's posting pictures of Brad Pitt, but he's not Brad Pitt. Obviously, we can only do something if he gets reported. And then we can take it down because guess what? We've got a verification photo on profile for him. Yeah. That's it. But anyway, back to my point. These <laughs> swinging websites, yeah, they will come to learn that they have severely fucked up in not keeping their users safe. Mm. They have not like innovated in any way, shape or form to try and keep their users happy. They're just thinking, oh, yeah, we make this much money. Yeah, people are using it. If it's not if it's not broken, why fix it? But people come out with new products all the time and then competition comes up as well, knocking on your door. And then when that happens, they're going to go, fuck. How's your day anyway? <laughs> no, that was a little bit of a rant there, wasn't it? I just get so passionate about it. I'm not the Very only passionate. person. I'm not the only person. Liv, there is nothing worse than you messaging a couple and you're vibing, mm-hmm. right? And yeah. you're like, oh my God, we've hit the fucking jackpot here. Like, these guys are amazing. This is going to be... And you go for weeks and weeks and talking to find out it's a fake profile. Yeah. Or it's like, it can be a single male behind it, a single female behind it. And or it's the pictures are definitely not what they look like. Or And do you know what? These fake profiles are fucking stupid as well. Who, who in the right mind puts... American interior, like, you know, there's a woman taking a photo in an American closet in American bathrooms and then saying she's from Wigan. <laughs> if you're going to do it, come on, do it properly. I feel like you're getting really highly, highly defensive here. <laughs> you can't, I, am, I ain't got no fake accounts. What are you saying? <laughs> you're accusing me. <gasps> Not at all, darling. Why don't you tell us a bit more about Swing Hub, though? I will tell them some more about Swing Hub. I... After that big rant. <laughs> After that big rant. Oh, my goodness. <clears throat> you like your little spiels, though, don't you? You get them. You like your little... You start, and then you just carry on and carry on and carry on. If and I don't I'm just get like, off I'll my just, chest. I just sit here, and I'll just... If I do don't it. get off my chest, I start going bog-eyed. <laughs> no, if you don't get I'll on your chest... I'll sit here like that. <laughs> like, oh, don't listen to anything I say until it's all off your chest. Yeah. If I change the subject, you're like, no, I've not finished what I'm saying. Yeah. No, but can't, the, can't join into that subject. But like moving on to Swing Hub, like the app has been in production for well over a year now. Yeah, we well thought it would only take a couple, like, I think originally we were like looking at maybe like seven, eight months. Yeah. Okay, like up and running, but now it's. Yeah, but I think the case of like, yeah, we could, the, the actual end time for it was meant to be February. But because I've got um, something wrong with me in terms of like, that's not perfect. I want it right. (laughs) We had to do a full design change. And I just want to make sure that if we're delivering an app, it's perfect. Mm -hmm. I don't want to make major changes a couple months down the line. We can make small changes and add new features. Mm. But that's the reason why. And that's why it's coming in spring. And I think everybody could agree with me that you have a product that's right the first time. If you don't get it done right, you have to do it twice, don't you? So, yeah. Microphone's completely in the way. Eh? Microphone's completely in the way. 
That's it. Get the plugs in. Get the plugs in. Yeah, but it's... And I think also with Swing Hub being an app, one, it's more modernised straight off the bat, mm-hmm. and two, it's more easily accessible for anyone that's just curious. The amount of messages... I've seen your inbox on Instagram. How many messages do you get? I've checked all these websites out, and they all look a bit sketchy. Which one do you use? And it's kind of like, oh... The one in payment details. Um, just, is this a legitimate website? And you kind of like, what's up? Have you got? Have you got something to say? <gasps> Carry on. <laughs> Carry and on. and some right. So the terrible one that we use, obviously, like it's it's a fiver a month. I grant it, but you pay peanuts, you get monkeys. You know, you pay for what you get. It's a bag of dicks. Some of these websites and apps out there are charging up to thirty pounds, thirty dollars a month. Do you know why they? Do you know why they charge that much? Do you know why they charge that much? Do you? Do you? I know. I know. You know because know. because to grow they have to use affiliate marketers. So actually, what you're paying is someone else's wage for the guy that brought you on to pay for premium because they said, "Oh, we'll give you six months discount if you go premium," and you're like, "That's a great offer," but then it's thirty quid a month after that. For what? For Tinder style, and you go on things like Free Fun, and half of them are bots. Mm, we talked to a lot of bots on free fund, didn't we? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Half of them I was like, hey, I don't know if this is real or not. Yeah, we were talking to them and then I was like, well, that's not just what we've just asked you. You're just completely going off the subject here. Yeah. And then it happened again and again and again. And we were like, okay. And then they send you a message that's really into you. And you message back and it's read but not replied. And then, they, then the account gets taken down and you're like, hmm. Mm. Yeah. But 30 quid a month. And then, like I was saying, before you rudely interrupted me. 30 quid a month. People are seeing that. Like, it costs that amount of money. And they're like, it looks a really sketchy site, though. Like, why am I paying money? Is this going to be legitimate? Like, am I going to get a product for this? Or is it just going to get taken away? Like, have you, have am I going to get scammed? Have you ever seen Adult Friend Finder website? No. Oh, have you seen it? Adult Friend Finder. Adult Friend Finder is meant to be the world's biggest online lifestyle website. Bro, there's more advertisements than actual things to do <laughs> on this website. You sign up, yeah? That, that fucking thing's like 40, 50 quid a month. <laughs> Swear to God. And then you have to go through like 100 advertisements of local mills in your area. The Vietnam, by the way, I did check it out. There's <laughs> local, local mills you in your... You were scammed. I was scammed. <laughs> no, not really. But it was just like things like that. It's No one's modernizing the lifestyle. It's becoming so much more. Yeah, you've got apps like Field, but that's dedicated more to the polyamorous side of life. And still, that's like a Tinder swipe thing. Mm. Like what I want in, a, in an app is I want to know who's around me. I want to know who's looked at me. I want to know what events are going on in the UK. Um, this is all on Swing Up, by the way, pages. So if you're into dogging, then you can type in, uh, you can do a page and go dog in Lincolnshire. And everyone that's into dogging, like in Lincolnshire or Lincoln or Nottingham or Manchester, are in one community. So long gone of the days of scraping the internet going, oh my God, what's going on? Where are the best dogging spots? You can find it. Because there's someone out there that's passionate enough about it that can be the leader of a community going, these are the spots. These are the dates we're meeting up. What do you prefer? What do you like? And everybody connect one-to-one. What were you saying? I don't know. (laughs) (laughs) We're just going off on your little tangents. But yeah, it shows like how passionate you are about everything. and Yeah. It's just, do you know what it is? It's one big problem that just needs solving. It's just one problem that just needs solving. And that one problem that when it's solved, it becomes a lot less taboo. Mm. It becomes more accepting to the wider community because when it's easily accessible, you look at polyamorous relationships, polyamorous relationships are actually making more advancements than what swingers are because you've got things like field and you've got all these different apps that are catered to that and not many people go oh the polyamorous oh my god and they don't go oh my god like they just see it as an interesting topic where swingers sometimes they go oh my god that's oh, oh. Mm. so once we create once swing hub does come out and then we actually make it more mainstream and it's more modernized 
the way you're going to see it is, well, actually, it's actually just as easy for you to join the lifestyle than it is going for all these like shitty, seedy websites. Cool. 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 I forgot what we even started this coffee. This was this was about this was the beginner's guide to um, the swingers' lifestyle. The ages of car salesmen. I'm a, I'm a car salesman. I'm swinging. He gets all it, he probably gets all his plugs in, doesn't he? It's like <laughs> it's not. It's I'm, when we do TikTok lives, and then I just sit here and I'm like. Right, okay, right, night, guys, right, I'm off to bed. And then he then starts going with all the plugs, don't forget to do this and don't forget to follow on here and don't forget to do this. I'm like... There's nothing wrong with that. People don't, he's get, a, he's hey, a really people good don't know who you are yet. So when I'm like, listen, go follow Vista Wife on Instagram, they're going to be like, I want to go follow her. Yeah. I want to go follow her because guess what? That really good looking man on TikTok Live told me to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So like I said, you're a really good plug, aren't you? Not just a good book plug. <laughs> like a good book plug, no. no. No, we're not going to. This is not part of this episode yet, my anus. This is not this episode, bro. <laughs> you oh. won't be here for that episode, bro. <laughs> we'll dedicate the whole episode to your anus, bro. No, we won't. No, we won't. If people, so this is the first episode and I've not really introduced everyone, so <laughs> everybody, know, everybody knows Vista Wife. Her real name is Olivia. Yep, and then off, obviously often people call me Liv as well. Liv, Liv, Olivia, Vista wife. I'm Gage. I'm Olivia's husband. Yeah, I'm oh, the brains behind to, everything. I'm gonna say back to that as well. Starting, we've been in, we've been together for a very long time. We've been married ten years. Well, this is all fucked in like reversed and stuff, <laughs> isn't it? Like that. we should have started this. This is how we should have started it. Well, I was just about, I was about to introduce the. Yeah, the... and then now introduce the. No, can you just how long we've been together? How long we've been together? Yeah. Nearly fourteen years. Oh my god. Fourteen years we've nearly been together. We met each other fourteen years ago and like next month. Month after. Hmm. Anyways, carry on. Welcoming everybody to the Swing Hub Podcast. <laughs> and behind the cameras we have what well, I would say one of the best producers, <laughs> podcast producers in the UK. <laughs> in in the UK. No, don't be don't don't be humble now. Don't Have be humble do a now. Spin. spin yeah. Them. Well um Bailey's like, do not touch my cameras, Olivia. <laughs> with the podcast, obviously we talk about swinging, we talk about the lifestyle, our own experiences. We're gonna take questions from everyone that basically ask questions and we can just talk about it. And this is our platform to talk absolute shit if we want to in a swinging theme. Yeah. Also dedicated to <laughs> Swing Hub. But we're also introducing something called Freaky Fridays. Right. <laughs> okay. Where we're moving not away from the swingers lifestyle, but we're staying very sex positive and it's very like sex focused. Yeah where our brilliant producer, Bailey, will be taking your hot seat, mm -hmm. yeah? Because I don't know if you know about Bailey, but some of the experiences and stories that he's had, I've nearly died from a heart attack when he told me. <laughs> and like, and, laugh and no, to I, be fair, I, Bailey's, on that, be, Bailey's been on that website that we won't name. I had to put it out there. That obviously, you'd want me to say that too. Yeah. Yeah, right, okay. Before we'd even been on it, <gasps> da, da, da. Yeah. yeah. How how old were you, Bailey, when you got? I was seventeen. You were seventeen. Yeah. See. Mm. This is what I'm saying. So there is people out there, like yourself, saying that you're older than what you are. Oh, he's a catfish. He's a no, catfish. No. The stories of the catfish. Did you? No, fair play, fair play. But we will, when Freaky Fridays does um, get recorded, we're going to talk about them stories of, because I know. And then Freaky Fridays is going to get my, um, going to get this YouTube channel um, and no. the podcast taken down, yeah? No, <laughs> no, hey, listen, this, this, I've heard a lot worse out there than what this is, trust me. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> you, did, did you know there's a podcast out there where the husband and wife literally have sex? It's not videoed, it's audio. They have sex and talk about sex. And you can hear the... Uh, up to me. 
this episode. <laughs> what? No, really? I, I swear to God, yeah. How is that like allowed on podcasts? Because it, I don't know, it must be innovative, and it's only a podcast, isn't it? Mm. We could say we could be like, oh yeah, me and Liv, we absolutely bang on this swing of podcasts. And if you didn't have any videos here now, we could be like, oh Zeddy, oh yeah, oh Della Swing, oh Spring Twenty Twenty Three. Is that what you say? Is that what you sound like? What do I sound like during sex? I never really actually... <laughs> I don't really catch myself. Or just pure silent? No. <laughs> nothing worse. There's nothing. Straight nothing face worse, like that. Is there? Nothing worse. <laughs> We're getting full, like, off topic. Definitely yeah. Okay, right we'll now. leave it for another, another episode, yeah. We have got so much to talk about, and I think, like, it's nice just to be able to go in-depth with everything because everything's really short and sweet on all my social media pages. So it's just nice to, like, sit down and, like, have a, a conversation. A conversation. And that's, that's it. really... Can I just say I'm really excited to be doing this with you. I know we talk quite a lot. We talk quite a lot, like, all the time. But I think when you've got a microphone in front of you and you've got cameras, you bring up them stories of you flicking your bean in <laughs> service station toilets. Yeah. But it's just things that get brought back up which we wouldn't normally talk about like yeah do you know I what i mean because we've not so, we don't really sit and talk about it in depth anymore do we I no suppose. not in depth but i mean that and that's why i'm really excited because i feel like we can rehash all the we old can stuff. rehash all the stuff and we can just and what we've been we can just be and, us and, and and people can see what we're like as well i shouldn't have said that bean story because now tonight i'll be like tell me all about it <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you're you're gonna get all the OnlyFans messages coming in. Like, did you get any videos of it though? Did you, did you get any videos? No, with you, I meant. What? With you tonight? Oh, with me? Yeah. yeah. What? <laughs> Am I? Did I go off topic? No, like I shouldn't have t said the bean story. What had happened? Because you were flicking tonight, your bean in the service station. Yeah, because you didn't know about it, and tonight you'll be like, "Oh my god, Olivia, tell me all about it. Come on, come on." No, I won't. <laughs> I'll tell you after tea, alright. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Eat dinner first, and if you eat it all, I'll tell you. Okay. <laughs> oh crap. Um, yeah, but that's it. And you know what? I think we should wrap this up for the first podcast. I think, yeah. I think we Before should do a nice we big start, fist bump. We start going off topic again. Again, because we've got so much to talk about. But <gasps> guys, if did you did you not do an explosion then? You've just ruined my literal outro. <laughs> <laughs> Go mum off the rod. <laughs> Um, guys, if you are watching this and you've made it all the way to the end, this is the first podcast. And granted, we are not professionals whatsoever, <laughs> right? We don't actually. We're just two gen like degenerates that don't have a fucking clue what we're doing, and we're relying on Bailey to just run the show for us, and we're just talking out here. So, if you managed to this and you liked it, please like subscribe to the YouTube, follow us on Instagram. I'm sure Bailey, can you put like our Instagrams into like the edits and stuff like that? Wicked and just show some love and just tell everyone and all your friends about it. See, I told you he's good at plugging. <laughs> <laughs>